Hey, it's Ryan over at Two Minute Tennis, and here are three simple ways to improve your topspin forehand. Please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell as those are absolutely the best way to support this channel. So the first way that's gonna help you improve your topspin forehand is to make sure every time you hit the ball, you pick an air target. An air target is knowing exactly how high over the net you want the ball to cross. Most amateur players I teach do not in their mind know how high, how high over the net they're trying to make the ball go. And I can tell you, as you move in, it's really important that you hit low over the net. As you move back, it's important that you hit high. You move in, you gotta hit low so it doesn't go out. And when you move back, you wanna aim high so it doesn't go short and land in the net. So I'm gonna hit these balls and I'm gonna hit, uh, let's choose high first. So I'm gonna hit these balls high over the net. That ball didn't even bounce out of the ball machine. I'm gonna hit these balls on purpose high over the net. This is important if you wanna arc a ball high to a one-hander's backhand. Let's say your opponent isn't very good at taking the ball off the rise. Hitting the ball high keeps it away from the net and hits the ball deeper. Now I'm gonna hit low over the net. And again, I'm just doing this with my mind. I'm just choosing an air target. I'm hitting the ball low over the net. Here I'm gonna hit high. Here I'll hit low. Every single time you hit the ball, know exactly the height you're trying to make the ball cross. What I tell my students, it's very simple, I do this with the junior program here at the tennis club, I just tell them, look, when you're in the green, hit higher over the net. And when you're in the blue, hit lower over the net. Kind of like pairing red wine with steak and white wine with fish. It's obviously there are exceptions based on what somebody's preferences are, but just to understand the basics, that's how you can think of it. As you move back, aim higher. As you move in, aim lower. And of course there are exceptions, but just get that simple rule first. The second idea is don't wait too long to take your racket back. Or I should say it this way, don't wait too long to begin the take back. What I hear coaches say online, in person, is I hear coaches saying, don't get the racket back too early because then you're gonna lose power. Most amateurs I know don't lack power. They lack control, they lack being on time, especially against fast serves and deep ground strokes. So as soon as you see the ball come off your opponent's racket, begin the take back. So as soon as my reaction time can notice the ball coming out of the ball machine, I'm gonna begin the take back. You'll notice because I'm taking the racket back, as soon as the ball comes out of the ball machine, or I should say, as soon as I recognize that the ball is coming out of the ball machine, then I'm not rushed. It's like leaving your house early for work. If you leave early, you won't be rushed. You'll notice I'm getting my racket back, or I'm beginning, I, I gotta be careful how I say this. I'm beginning the take back the moment I notice the ball coming to my forehand. A lot of players I see wait for the ball to bounce, and then they're rushed. They wait for the ball to bounce, and then they're rushed. Begin the take back when you see that it's a forehand, and you won't be rushed, really, no matter how hard and deep your opponent hits. And last, I wanna teach you something called 212. The numbers represent how many hands are on the racket. So when you begin the take back, take the racket back as a unit turn, take the racket back with both hands on the racket. That's two. Hit the ball with one. That's one. <laughs> and then finish with two hands on the racket. That's the second two. Two, one, two. You look at Dominic Team when he's practicing forehands and he's just hitting forehands, you know, pre-match or even just on the, in, a, in a practice session, in a hitting session. You look at Venus and Serena, they do this all the time. Agassi, even Federer, he finishes a little lower than I teach most students, but I want you to finish high in that left hand if you're right-handed, finish high in that hand. It just makes sure that the racket and body and the left side of the body and the right side of the body work together. So watch me hit these forehands and I'm gonna demonstrate two, one, two. As soon as the ball comes, two, one, two. I turn with two hands, obviously I'm gonna hit with one. Am I out of balls? I'm out of balls. And through the magic of television, all of a sudden I have more tennis balls. So two, one, two. 
I turn with both hands on the racket, and I finish with both hands. Turn with two hands, finish with two hands. Two, one, two. Two, one, two. So make sure you vary the height. Here I'm gonna hit high, here I'm gonna hit low. Make sure you begin the take back when you see the ball is hit to you. Begin the take back and you'll be on time and use two, one, two. I'm telling you, you start following, start following these rules on your forehand and it's gonna make for more confidence, you're gonna win more matches, you're gonna play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy over at twominutetennis.net. I'll see you next time.